What is up nerds? It is Reptile DIY here again and today I'm going to be showing you all how to paint any image or band logo directly onto the back of a denim jacket or vest. So let's get this shit started. Alright guys, a few weeks ago a local skateboarder was ran over by an SUV. Don't worry, he's going to be just fine, and the link to his GoFundMe will be in the description of this video if you feel like helping out. And I thought to myself, what better recovery gift than his very own personalized jackass themed stuntman jacket. So let's talk about supplies. So guys, I'm going to be using the freezer paper stencil method. I have two other videos where I go into a lot more detail about these freezer paper stencils. So definitely check out these videos, like if you don't have a computer, if you don't have a printer, if you just want to make a stencil off of any image you have, whether that's a poster, or a vinyl record, or anything that you have, check out those videos. The links will be in the description down below. Now when it comes to supplies, you're going to need a denim jacket or vest. This method will work on other types of fabric. But just be careful applying any sort of high heat to polyester or any synthetic fabrics, okay? You are also going to need freezer paper. Not wax paper, not butcher paper, specifically freezer paper. You will also need an iron, an X-Acto blade, tape, a pencil, black and white paint pens. I like to use black to clean up any mistakes. You're also going to need some white or black or whatever color you want fabric paint and a sponge brush or paint brush. I prefer a sponge brush as well as a computer, a tablet, anything with a big screen and a printer. But like I said, printer and these screens are optional. Check out those other videos I mentioned at the beginning if you want to learn how to do it without a printer or even a computer. Now guys, I'm also going to talk about logos. You can use any logo you want off of Google image search or any image search you have. I definitely want to do a shout out to stencilpunks.org. I believe it's a Tumblr blog right now. And check out Anarcho Stencilism as well. They are both great resources for punk, goth, metal, and political stencils. So our first step is making our stencil. We're going to take our freezer paper. We're going to pull it out and we're going to set it out to the size of the image that we're going to want to make. Then we're going to take our piece of paper. We're going to put it up against a computer screen shiny side down and we're going to trace out the image so we got our image all blown up to the size that we want now guys you can actually print on this freezer paper check out that other video if you want to learn how to do that but you are limited to the 8 by 11 inch paper this is a massive uh, stencil so I'm just going to trace it off the computer screen and it's pretty easy there we go it's all traced off ready to be cut out we're also going to be putting Miles's name on the bottom to make it personalized we just got this old cursive uh, Kind of looks like a mechanic kind of font. Next up, we are going to take our images, we're going to put it on a piece of cardboard, tape it down, and cut everything out with an X-Acto blade. Now be careful, because you're going to save any inserts with this skull, you're going to save the eyes and the nose. And then we're just going to go in and cut everything out. Be very gentle, okay? You don't want your shit to rip, but just take your time, all right? So we got our eyes and our nose. Now we are going to apply our stencil. We put it back onto our denim jacket, and we're just going to hit it with an iron. Nice and slow with low to medium heat, okay? You do not want to use steam and you just want to go nice and slow at first. Tack everything down. Make sure there's no bubbles, no bumps, no nothing. And you're going to go back and do any inserts, okay? And you really want to work this stencil on, okay? Don't worry about burning this denim. It's going to be just fine. Now you see me going back, cutting out Miles' name. Now this is important with Miles, the L's, L-E-X. Those all have inserts, so we're going to save that for later. But here we go. Iron it on. And just really work that in there, tap it on at first, and then really work it in there, okay? Now we're gonna cut out the LES, and we're just gonna put those inserts in one at a time, one at a time, and just put those inserts in, iron them on. All right, we have our stencils on, we have our inserts inserted, and now it's time to apply our fabric paint. For this, I just took some uh, fabric paint, popped the top off, put it on a plate. Now we're gonna take our sponge brush, dab it really good so it's not soaking wet. And we're just gonna go in, and this first layer, we're just gonna dab it nice and lightly, okay? Do not overwork this first layer with your fabric paint or it's just going to bleed and it's going to be a mess underneath your stencil, okay? This first layer is essentially going to be a primer. So every layer after this first layer, the paint will stick a lot better. But here we are, first layer, all done. You're going to let it dry for a couple of hours, okay? It's very important to let it dry. Now we're going to go back with our second layer. Same exact method. We're going to dab it on at first, all right? Nice and slow, just dab it on. Once everything is dabbed on, then you can go back after the second layer and you can kind of uh, slide it, 
kind of make it more smooth so it's not not textured at all you kind of want you can smooth it out at this point okay and then let it dry for a few hours now we're gonna go back and do a third layer same exact technique for our third layer dab it on get it all up in there you know how it goes and then you can go back and you could just kind of smooth it all out right after you're done dabbing it on just so you don't have that textured pebbled look okay and we're gonna do one more layer okay so we're doing four layers on this you can do more layers you could do less layers it depends entirely on what you want to do I think three to four layers is perfect we're gonna let it dry overnight or so and then we are gonna go back we are gonna take off our stencil now this can be a pain in the butt you can even use your exacto blade to help you remove everything and just take your time go nice and slow okay this probably took me like an hour and a half two hours to get all this done but here I am you can see I got the stencil off miles I'm just going back with a black paint pen and just cleaning up any bleeding or any mistakes just with the paint it looks a lot better right so let's go back we're gonna remove our jackass stencil like I said nice and slow this one had so many inserts and just so many lines that it took me a lot longer so just take your time guys just take your time cutting everything out and you can see like there's still bleeding between those two teeth right there there's bleeding don't worry about it we'll fix it with some black paint when we're done and we are removing the inserts of the nose and the eyes But here we go now we got all our stencil off we're gonna go back and clean everything up fix any mistakes where there's bleeding and honestly guys if you want after you clean everything up you can run it through the wash to get some of that white excess of the stencil off that'll be just fine you could also go over that white stuff with a black paint marker but here we are here's the finished logo pretty easy a pretty straightforward Steve-o a Johnny Knoxville if you're watching this we really need to get your autograph on this jacket for miles Hopefully you guys have learned something. These freezer paper stencils are insanely easy to use and they're extremely versatile. You could put them on damn near anything. And if you've liked this video, then definitely check out my other DIY tutorials. I've been doing this shit for about 17 years. So if you want to learn a thing or two, definitely hit that button down below. Until next time, I'll see you later nerds.